What is going on guys today? We are looking at Inform Valverde and he's a new one to be honest. He is now up and coming in the game. I managed to pack his gold card right at the start of the game and I was really happy with him. He looks a solid midfielder especially then getting untradeable Varane and then a tradable Mendy. He fits that trio and now we have the possibility of a red Valverde and honestly quite a good box to box. I believe, do not quote me on this, but I think he came out of Real Madrid's youth squad or came up from Real Madrid as his first professional club. Let me know down below if you know, if, if you're a Real Madrid fan. Let me know if you actually know this. Is Did he come from Real Madrid? I'm unsure, but he is now kind of like blossomed after last year getting, I believe, a future star really popping off right now. And he started the game at an 83 and team of the week five. He has now got himself an 85 rated card. It's coming in right now at 259 and 309 on the PlayStation. So pretty good price on him. Obviously, it's only the first day or the first night, in fact. So we've still got rewards to go. And obviously, that can really, really lower his price. But hopefully, we do get a Red Ver uh, Real Van Verde because then obviously we can link him up with our Varane and Mendy and is a quality midfielder. Let's get into the in-game and smash it out. So before we get into the in-game kind of stuff, I just want to say the messages over the reviews over the past literally month, of literally the whole of October, it has been incredible. The support, the subscribers, the views, the everything has been amazing, but the feedback has been absolutely wonderful. And I just wanted to say thank you very much. And I'm trying my hardest to really grind this game out at night time, having to kind of record these a little bit lower kind of content, lower, lower enthusiasm as such. And we do get the in the daytime sometimes, and it's just it's just circumstance at the moment. So thank you again for obviously staying with me. I know at night time it's not the greatest having to whisper, but I'd rather be able to bring you content and maybe not show as loud of a voice, but the support has been amazing. So Let's crack on. He is a Uruguayan central midfielder. He's a free star, free star. Unfortunately, only if he got that 4-4, he would be next level and genuinely could be a very, very good team of the season if he did if he did manage to get one. He is six foot and right footed. He has got a lean body type, very much like I want to say Paulinho. No, it was was it Kimmich? I think it might have been Kimmich, in fact. High, high work rate. He is a box-to-box -box and is a very, very good one at that. In terms of chemistry styles, before we go to any sort of um, any stat, we are looking at an anchor or a, I believe it was a shadow, was it? Anchor or shadow. People are playing him as a more of a DM. I feel like as a CM, he does work quite well. He gets up the pitch and gets down the pitch. More of an assister than a scorer, I must say that, but he does have that threat going forward as well. He's very good at his passing. He's got 88 and 87 short and long. He's got 84 composure, cracking on an 85 rated card, 86 reactions, 84 ball control and 81 dribbling with only 78 and 71 agility balance. Not the greatest there, but we can still live with that. We've got on the base, 81 strength, I just realized I had anchor clicked, 81 strength, 88 stamina, 83 aggression, and then head and accuracy and jumping, don't really want to touch, even though he is six foot, not a great aerial threat. 78, 82 on slide and stand, 83 interception. So chemistry style wise, if you're looking as a DM, definitely anchor, definitely shadow. Shadow will take him up to 96 pace and 88 defending, giving him an 88 CDM. Anchor will give him 92 pace, 86 defending, which is just a minus two, but 89 physicality. I think that for me is more important. And I think Anchor for me doesn't lie on a centre back too much. It lies more on a DM because I think that strength, that aggression is more important there. And yes, it is on a centre back as well. Like, don't get me wrong. If you were to choose to have it or not, you're definitely always going to have it. But I think the, the centre back role is more the defensive style. You want that stand and slide as high as possible. Whereas I think DM can kind of get away with maybe losing a little bit of defence to get that physicality. It takes his strength up to 91 and takes his aggression up to 88. That is absolutely key for winning the ball back making sure that he gets the ball and really kind of then offloading it somewhere he's got a cracking pass and really knows how to play around the pitch so overall not a bad card 2346 in-game stats it's a quality card very well rounded let's get into some gameplay so with mr valverde we managed to do some rivals with him unfortunately it doesn't count to any points which is 
very annoying, but we keep going with it. He is wonderful in that middle of the pitch. Honestly, I wouldn't really class him too much as a DM in how I liked him. I liked him running up and down a pitch. He made them tackles, but then also made them passes. We see some lovely skill from him, even though the free star, free star still manages to find their moments where he really shouldn't be doing skills, but it works. It absolutely works. And some of the assists that he was doing were absolutely next level. Really, really good passer of the ball. I think that, for me, was his main trait. Pace as well. 87 on the base is wonderful. Does manage to score a couple of goals. Even though I wouldn't class him as a major goal threat, he still can do it and still really can play with that ball. So you've always got to be wary what he can actually do. You see him there absolutely cutting in Nata Gnabry. Fortunately, didn't finish it. He's just a wonderful player. I think he's... Is he worth the coins? 250 is a little bit much for me. I feel like you could get better for that. But if he does drop, and he does drop, say... I'd say 1 to 150, I'd definitely be looking at him. I think he's a quality card. If you've got a La Liga team, he will be absolutely crucial in that role. We see getting the assist there, and another goal. So going into the overall, some big, big names on the links. We've got Hazard, Mendy... Militao, you've got Varane, you've got, uh, I'm trying to think of any other, you've got Anaki Williams, I suppose, on the rule breaker, obviously Messi, I'm thinking of more strong links, you've obviously got the Real Madrid squad who pff, you just can't argue with, Ramos is there as well, some very, very big names that you can link in with and get that strong, and I think that trio of Mendy, Varane, even change Varane for Ra Ramos or Militao, and then obviously Valverde, it's a nice little knit triangle there, Beautiful, beautiful for the starting team. I definitely can do you in foot champs. If we do get a red, I'll be very happy with him, to be honest. Some of these players, there was only like a handful last week. There is now actually a hell of a lot more that I would actually take as a red, which we do hope for. I only stopped at gold free, so can only hope. But we got Edison last week. Can we get one more big player this week? In terms of alternatives, we've got Lorente. We've got Fred. One in the league. I think he's a quality centre mid, probably not his 84, maybe go for his 82, but his 84 is good. And then we got Fred as a really cheap centre mid, very, very good on the box to box. I would say Valverde is better, but he's cheap, a hell of a lot cheaper and can do a very good job as well. In terms of overall, we've given him an 8 out of 10. I think he's quality. He just needs four star, four star, a little bit of agility balance, maybe some headed on him and really that's about it. It depends on if you want to play him as a box-to-box, -box, then he could do with some shooting. But other than that, I think he's got everything you want. If you literally whack an anchor on him, all you need is that. You need a little bit of head and accuracy and jumping and then just shooting. And then he is a full box-to-box -box mid and absolutely brilliant one at that. With 92 pace on an anchor, can't complain one bit about him. So there is only a couple of things that I did want to kind of be negative about. Other than that, I think he's quality. I think genuinely he is a nice card. Will he last months and months? Probably not. There's probably cards that will come out next week that will overturn him. But in terms of right now, I think he definitely can fit into a lot of foot champs team. We don't know any of the players that are coming out in the rule breakers or in the SBC. So there could be an SBC that's 50k and absolutely wipes a sentiment out of the water in La Liga. But we are going for the right now. And I think personally, quality card really really nice i think he genuinely is an overall beast and if we look at generations i think he oh no he didn't he didn't so the question at the start if you are still here then obviously kudos to you but unfortunately he started at them I, i'm not going to pronounce it because i yeah i'll make myself look an idiot but then he did transfer to real madrid pretty much instantly he may have even went on loan in fact it could have been loan so the question still stands got a 73 on 19 got a 77 on 20 managing to get himself a road to the final and a future star can we see more of him this year that is going to be the one hopefully you did enjoy this video let me know down below what you think i'll see you all for the next one